In this tutorial, we will learn the perfect and the easy way to project a two-dimensional texture, or a map like this, onto a spherical object, like a globe. So, start by deleting this default cube. Now add one UV sphere. We will first try the easy method. Go to the Materials tab and create a new material. Then click on this small yellow icon beside the base color and select Image Texture. Now click on the Open button and go to the location where you have saved your texture or the map. Click on Open Image. Then, turn on the Rendered View mode. We can see that our 2D map is nicely projected on the sphere. However, it is not at all smooth. In reality, a globe never contains a flat surface. So, let us make it smoother. We know that we can add a subdivision surface modifier for the sphere, in order to rectify the flat surface problem. That makes the surface smooth, but there are cramps and distortions now visible in some parts of the map. This happens because our map is rectangular in shape and it is getting compressed in the polar regions. To rectify this issue, we need to use UV unwrap and UV mapping. UV unwrap means flattening of a sphere to a two-dimensional plane or a 2D sheet so that we can apply a map or a texture correctly. To use the UV unwrap for our sphere, let us split this screen and open the UV editor side by side in this window. The name UV has no relation to ultraviolet rays, here U and V are simply the name of the two dimensions like X and Y for this 2D plane in the UV editor. In the 3D viewport, go to the edit mode. Zoom out in the UV editor to get the full view of the map that we have applied. This map is divided into rectangular tiles, but there are some triangles at the top portion of the map. Same for the bottom row as well. These triangles are created by the triangular divisions at the polar section of the sphere. We need to get rid of these triangles in order to avoid any distortion in the polar area. It can be done in many ways, I will show you one easy technique. First, deselect everything. Then select the vertex at the pole and press the X key, select vertices to delete this vertex. Turn on the edge selection mode and select any one edge from the polar circle. Then go to the select menu, select loops and edge loops. Now press E for extrude, then S for resize, type 0.01 and hit enter. The polar region is now covered, but with rectangles instead of triangles. We have to do the same thing for the other pole. Delete the vertex at the pole, and extrude the next circle towards the pole. If you understand the basic principle of this editing, you can do it for any complex object as well. We will see the effect of this process on the map in the UV editor in a moment. Press A on your keyboard to select everything. Then go to the UV menu and select Unwrap. You can see a dramatic change in this UV editor, but don't worry. Go to the UV menu again, and select Sphere Projection. Then open this operator box and select Align to Object in the Direction field. Select all the checkboxes below, and close this section. The UV map is now almost perfect, but the top two rows got shifted by one cell, and the overall size is also little shorter in the X dimension. We need to rectify them, so turn on the face selection mode, and disable this shared location option. Now select the top two rows. Then press G on your keyboard and then press X, and move the mouse to the left to align these two rows with the other rows. Then press A to select all, then S to resize, and then press X. And move the mouse to enlarge it slightly. Then, again press G, and then press X, and move the mouse towards the right to fit the cells perfectly on the UV map. Okay, looks good. Now the UV map is complete, and we are done with the UV editor. So we can close this. In the 3D viewport, go back to the object mode. We can see a perfect projection of the Earth map onto our sphere. There is no distortion, and it is smooth as well. Also, if you want, you can further increase the subdivision levels. It won't affect the texture or the map. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.